Mr. Freeloader? Mr. Freeloader? <laughs> good, good heavens, somebody stole my body. <laughs> Call the police right away. You slept late, Mr. Freeloader. Oh, yeah, Bugsy, I had my eyeballs set for half past winter. And I slept clear to half past spring. <laughs> you know, today, I think that I'm going to uh, just lounge around. I feel kind of loungy today. <laughs> Shall I draw your shower, sir? Yes, but don't draw it too heavy. And be easy on the water, will you? I don't want to rust my body. <laughs> what a lovely morning. Oh, I smell that carbon monoxide. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, California water. Better pollution through chemistry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I get a kick out of being a gentleman's gentleman. <laughs> A gentleman's gentleman? You are not a gentleman's gentleman. You're a bum's bum. Can <laughs> I uh, fetch you a rocking chair so you can read your newspaper? By all means, my good man. Let's get over there and get the day moving. Ah, looks like the, uh, the bunghole is at half mass. I guess one of the termites must have died. <laughs> uh, my newspaper, my good man. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Well, let's see what's in the news today. Hello. <laughs> Here's a bit of news. A society million, uh, mil, mil, millionaire by the name of Gertrude Giltgrabber. <laughs> She's chosen herself a new charity. She is going to take care of the American hobo. She is now looking for hobos to give her money to. Well, I hope she don't come around here. It looks like the filthy rich is going to give to the filthy poor. Hey, I hear a cop coming. Oh, it may be the cop's going to give us a, a ticket for parking. We'd better hide. We'd better hide. <laughs> Isn't it rather ridiculous going out to look for hobos? Oh, no, this is my new charity. And there are hobos here. In the footsteps, there are holes. <laughs> Stockley, wait for me in the car. Very good, Miss Geltgrabber. Good heaven, Smokey the Bear's got the measles. <laughs> oh, there is a hobo. Yeah. Hello there, darling. How do you do? I am Gertrude Geltgrabber, uh. the millionaire, the multi-millionaire. Oh. I've got oodles. Oh, well, don't stand too close. I haven't been vaccinated. <laughs> and I've never had the oodles, you know. Oh, you poor, unfortunate little hobo. Here, Wait. Here. Take my check for a million dollars. No, no. Oh, please do. Remember that money can buy everything. Oh, yeah, look at Onassis. All the money in the world, he's still shorter than his wife. <laughs> Money's not everything, you know. Uh, <laughs> money, you remember the old saying, money cannot buy love. Yes, but with money, you can have it delivered. Yeah. <laughs> Just to take this check, you can have a home, you can have servants. Big deal, big deal. Here. My home. My hand. <laughs> oh, and my servant. My servant. You bang, sir? Yeah. <laughs> I say, now, I want you to know it's the cocktail hour. Now, butler, I want you to bottle up uh, the lady here, a martini. A martini? Yeah, that's a martini that's served in a tuna can. <laughs> Won't you step into my patio? 
head after you, madame. Wow, the kind of girls you dream about. You should see what I get, though. Oh, thank you. This is Dean Martin's old bar towel. You know, they say that he, he, uh, he drinks about two quarts a day. He does? That he spills that much. <laughs> there you are, the glasses, please. So, if you don't mind, start up the, uh, the cocktail shaker, would you please? We don't bruise it. There you are. <laughs> well, as Mason said to Dixon, we've got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> well, here's to you. Do you know, this is very good. It tastes like liquid gold. Oh, it is, it is. As it passes your teeth, it melts the fillings. <laughs> well, sorry we don't have a fireplace to throw it in. Oh. <laughs> Darling, Hobo, please, now, please, do take my yeah. check. Look, with all this money, you could have a suit every day of the year. I don't need a new suit. I've got a suit for every day in the year, and this is it. I am wearing it. But you, you realize with money you can live in style. You can travel all around the world. What do you mean, travel? I've traveled more than Mariority on his off days. Oh, you're so lucky. You know, the only traveling I do is going to the drugstore for my nerve-quieting pills. Well, you see, we Hobos don't have have to worry about that. See, we never get sick. See, we eat the kind of food that kills the germs. <laughs> I to think of it, you do have more fun and much less headaches. Oh, yes, yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you, kiddo. Oh, you know, Freddie, I do love you. You do? You're a little bit of all right. Well, you know what? You are a little bit of all right, too. <laughs> you just saved the NBC a big head, uh, headache. You know? <laughs> Oh, hey, the police! The police! <laughs> you must hurry, madam. We have business obligations. Oh. There's uh, stockholders' meetings, investment advisory meetings, uh, fundraising meetings. Boy, you're under more pressure than Kate Smith's bikini. <laughs> you're right. I am under a lot of pressure. Stokely, tell those dull business people that I am joining the word of Freddy the Freeloader. I am becoming a tramp. I mean, a hobo. Hobo. <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> Look, Monty, it looks... <laughs> looks like if he was alive today, he'd be a very sick man, you know that? <laughs> you know, it looks like we've got a new border. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Goof Off Gardens, madam. Uh, thank you. That's wonderful. I love that. Have you ever thought about reading Shakespeare? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, you take the guest room, oh. and I'll take the parlor. Thank yeah. you. You are a gentleman. Thank you. <laughs> now, you may set the watch for the summer. No, you better make it for the autumn. That way, we'll miss all the TV reruns. <laughs> <laughs>